All right, I'm gonna be doing a review on my Rad Expand 5 today. I've had this bike probably for about a, a little over a year now. I have about five, 600 miles on it. It's a great bike. I'm gonna be showing you guys the pros and cons of this bike and see if this is a great fit for you. So this is the Rad Power Bike's newest folding model. They have the Rad Mini as well, which is discontinued, but I have a few of those models as well. I actually own a commercial rental fleet here outside of Zion National Park in Southern Utah. So if you're looking to rent electric bikes in the area, check out my company, Greater Zion E-Bike Rentals. This is a pedal assist e-bike, which means when you pedal, the motor will kick in and engage assist, as well as throttle. So I'll show you some of those features here. All right, here's the display on the Rad Expand. They got away from the electronic display that's traditionally on the minis and some of their other models, and they now have this plastic display. It doesn't really bug me, but some people do prefer the digital display. This is the difference. This is the digital display on the Rad Mini, which is kind of nice. It has your odometer, your miles per hour, your battery life, and your levels of assist. So to turn the e-bike on, you're just going to tap the power button. So you have your, your battery level up here and your level of assist. It starts in level 1 and it goes 0 all the way to level 5, which is the greatest level of assist. And you also have your headlight button here. As well as the pedal assist, you have the throttle feature right here. So when you pull down on this, the bike goes without even needing to pedal, which is a really nice feature. Um, I like the pedal assist in combination with the throttle bike. Um, I'll stay in level one and then kind of use this throttle as needed on hills. It has a traditional bike style handlebar, which is nice. Seven speed shifting, rear and front brakes. So this bike's equipped with four inch tires. They got rid of the front suspension on the Rad Mini and on the Rad Expand, no front suspension, just the fat tires. And you can see here the foldable latch. And that is what makes this bike so different and so amazing is the foldable feature of this bike. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how small this bike gets when you fold it up. So I like to put the seat down just to make it as small as possible. I'll orientate the pedals straight up and down release the latch. The bike folds around, has a little stand that it sits on, and then release the handlebars, and this thing is so small. To unfold it, just reverse the steps, handlebars out, swing it around, And you're back in business. So I'd say the top selling point to this bike is the foldable aspect. If you have an SUV and you need to put the bike in the back, um, this is a great option for you. You don't need a huge bike rack like if you have the Rad Rover or some of the other larger models that don't fold up. You're gonna need a truck or a bike rack. This kind of bike, I put three of these in my Subaru Outback. So some of the cons of this bike, if you're gonna be a rider that's about taller than six foot three, this bike might be a little small for you. The seat does raise up, but I'd say this bike more comfortably fits riders four foot 11 to six foot two. Anything over six two, six three, you're gonna be pushing it a little bit and not gonna be able to fully extend your legs. For the price point, I think this bike is a great middle of the line e-bike. It's not the most expensive mountain bike. There's not full suspension, but for riding on paved trails, this is a great bike. A great option. Uh, I have about seven of these bikes for my rental fleet and this is my most popular model. Another thing I like about this bike is that it comes with the rear rack. The Rad Mini doesn't come with the rack at all. This bike comes with the rack. You can also add on a front basket so you can have a front basket and a rear rack. So right here we got the Rad Expand model with the front basket mount so you can kind of see how this looks. See if this is an add-on you might want to put on your bike. So overall great bike. I'd say one other con I can think about is the stock bells that come with the bike are not really great. This is a secondhand bell that I had to replace. The other bell I had snapped right off. Um, besides that, the bike rides really well. Um, this front suspension is, it is nice because you save weight without the suspension. I think you save about 10 pounds. This bike's in the 50 pound range. Um, but the suspension definitely makes a more smooth ride. 
um, like on the mini. Overall though, great e-bike, great for kids, great for people with SUVs, great for RV travelers. There's a lot of purposes for the Rad Expand. If you're looking to purchase a Rad Expand, check out my affiliate link in the description below and email me for a discount code if you're looking to purchase. I can get you a discount with my commercial affiliate.